Just want to do a little quick demonstration on the effects of soda pop on the dental structures. I have a, a couple of different things here. This is the Notorious Mug, which is about a 52 ounce or here. We've got a, a, a quart bottle of Pepsi and of course the beloved Mountain Dew, okay? Which a lot of the teenagers use. One of the things that I don't think we know is the pop is acidic by nature. It's about uh, a pH of 2.4 to 2.7. But the main ingredient in pop that causes most of the damage in tooth structure is a, a 12 ounce can of pop contains one fourth cup of sugar. Therefore, this two liter bottle has this much sugar in it, a cup and a half. Now think of what would you feel like if you had a turkey feast every meal? Okay. You would be fat and happy and content. Well, that's what the bacteria on your teeth in the plaque are feeling like when you drink the soda pop. They get a, a feast from the sugar that is there. Now, the byproduct of that is they produce acid. And it's the acid that they produce that is the main uh, cause of dental decay. It uh, demineralizes the tooth and over time makes the, a hole in the tooth and therefore uh, uh, the, uh, the decay that is, is so uh, damaging. So, I'm not saying that occasionally we, can drink, we can't drink soda pop, because we all do. But if you continue to bathe your teeth uh, constantly, especially with the mug, where you sip it all day long, you are uh, going to increase the chances of having decay tremendously. I just have a little demonstration here on pennies too. These two pennies, I put it in uh, the Mountain Dew for four hours. The difference in the color shows you the amount of acid that is present in the pop. It is our recommendation that if you can remove the plaque where the bacteria hide and, and live, the effects of soda pop are, are lessened. If we don't have good hygiene and we are continuing to drink the pop, then we have just increased our chances of dental decay.